Well, I guess Dorelius should uh, craft himself some more of his um, crude armor. Yep. While I have a conversation with this cat. All right. So Dorelius sits down and begins stitching his armor together. The cat turns around and watches you, and upon <coughs> realizing that you are, I guess you're just introducing yourself, right? Yeah. Okay. In in uh, in in beast language, that basically entails you trying to demonstrate your name, which is just some slight huffing noises while you puff your chest up and hold your fist. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, on realizing that you can actually speak properly, instead of just making erratic noises like humans tend to do, that you have the cat's full attention. He does a little walk around the, uh, the table being very careful to not look where he's going, and in doing so demonstrates that uh, he knows this town inside out. He knows every single pebble of this entire town, and that his name is Fleekfoot. Fleekfoot Cat. Fleek? I will give... Fleet. Uh, I will Fleetfoot. I will give uh, Fleetfoot a, um, a je- friendship gesture between cats, so I will, I'll, I'll, I'll touch his little gland... For, for a spell for him oh. with my big beast hand to show that I can be gentle with such a small animal <laughs> uh, take a charisma roll oh no oh, it's charisma oh. it's charisma I thought I got uh, I, guess. I only get animal plus charisma. two I only get I only no. get a, oh no it's plus two to charisma when dealing with beast kind thank god that's right okay. so you actually have three charisma for this and you only need to roll okay. a five seven so just don't roll a one and accidentally crush oh. the cat <laughs> All right. You kitty. <laughs> Don't. I rolled a one. Oh. All right. <laughs> um, <laughs> you're too forceful in your attempt to reach into the cat's neck, and it quickly darts away from you. I'm pretty, pretty sure there's something going on here, because this has happened every time I've played this game now. It's rigged. <laughs> I don't think I've ever rolled anything that was high except when I had to look at a door. <laughs> he continues to watch you from a distance, though. Very curious about your sudden, like, change between being very friendly and moving far too quickly. Um, all right, Dorilius, uh, take an agility roll to uh, stitch your armor together. That is a difficulty of four, four, five, six. I got it. You roll four; it'll be pretty shit. Okay, you got to You got to It's badly done, but it works. All right. It's liable to break, but you are rolling d6s again. Cool. I'm going to uh, use my knowledge of the natural world to think of any way in which I can get this cat to understand what just happened through body language from afar. (laughs) All right. Um, uh, That is an intelligence roll, difficulty of four, six... Eight. Well, I get the four Uh-oh. straight off because I've got plus two to okay. intel when dealing with knowledge of the natural world. That four instantly is offer it some food. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm gonna roll another one. Yeah, some whiskey. <laughs> you can offer it some food. <laughs> oh, one again. <laughs> You can't go on forever. At least you're using them all up now. I'm not yeah, going to say that. I, not, I, I cannot waste the one food I have on a cat. No, you don't need to waste I'll, one, I'll one food. Die. Is, is like a bear's, bear's worth of food for a day. <laughs> you just need to break off a tiny bit of the smoked deer meat you have. All right, I'll do that then. <laughs> okay. The cat approaches the cat. It's a bit tentative this time, but it's happy to have some smoked deer meat because that's some delicious shit for a cat. I'll give some smoked deer meat to the cat. And, uh, okay, he's willing to trust you again, so you can try once more if you'd like. I will try, and this time I'm trying to sort of apologise to the cat. <laughs> oh no! Okay. Just take it easy, Hamport. It's, it's okay. <laughs> hey, only I can interact with this cat. I mean, you That's know, fair enough. I do have plus two charisma. I'm just that shit at rolling dice. <laughs> I need to turn my. It's the, my something to do with the bare hands. They get that idea. All right, here All right, we go. Go on, have a pull. That's better. Now you did a great job. <laughs> that is a back day six, seven, eight. You weren't even sure. You didn't even know that your hands could be that gentle and subtle <laughs> as you reached down. 
<laughs> your great big paws suddenly just turn into little, like, alluring cloud puffs of love and friendship. Cloud puffs. You reach out <laughs> and scratch under his neck a little bit. <clears throat> Fleetfoot asks what you're doing here. Um, in whatever, however it is that I'm communicating in beast language, I will, uh, tell him that I have been sent here by my former beast master to, uh, find my, my purpose among the humans, and at this stage that seems to entail freeing them from the clutches of the undead. Hmm. Uh, Fleetfoot explains to you in a sort of, I'll just tell you a bit, a bit more about beast language. It's not words, right? So yeah. they're they're effectively just demonstrating feeling and intent, uh, and most of the meaning comes out of the context in which they're explaining it. Right. So simple gestures and things could mean something completely different in a different circumstance. Mm -hmm. And of course, the words don't mean anything. Like when he introduced himself as Fleetfoot, it could easily have been Swift Paw or Quick Digit or anything <laughs> of the sort. <laughs> <coughs> Um, yeah, but he shows, he tells you that, he's, you can tell straight away that he's quite an old cat, um, but he's been uh, the alpha of this town for many years, and he considers this town to be partly his responsibility, yep. and he'd like to be rid of the undead as well. He describes to you a very emotional story about one of his mates had her kittens captured and eaten by the zombies, and since then he's had a terrible grudge against them. I'll, I'll uh, gesture, gesture great sorrow and, and, and loss, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Fleetfoot. Mm. Fleetfoot decides that he would like to help in whatever ways he can. I'm going to, I'm going to uh, bow to Mr. Fleetfoot as, an, as, as my uh, beastly elder, even though he's a little cat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's an intelligent cat. And unbelievably perceptive. <laughs> I like this cat. Wow, four perceptions, good then. Yeah. Now, staying out of harm's way around zombies is nothing to Fleetfoot. He can stay unnoticed with ease and yeah. get away whenever he needs to. <clears throat> Alright. Get him in our party then. Fleetfoot, yep. Fleetfoot is more, uh, more than happy to accept any help I can from such a 